Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, wastewater engineering in the topic of design of high rate trickling filter. So the problem is determine the size of high rate trickling filter for the following data. The flow is 4.5 million liters per day. Then recirculation ratio is 1.4. Then BOD of raw sewage is 250 milligram per liter. Then BOD removed in primary clarifier is 25%. So 75% of uh, BOD entering into the secondary clarifier that is high rate trickling filter. Then final BOD is desired 50 milligram per liter. Okay. So the final effluent contains the BOD of 50 milligram per liter. So calculate also the size of the standard rate trickling filter to accomplish the EVO requirement. Okay, So we have to find out the high rate trickling filter as well as uh, standard rate trickling filter. So first thing is uh, total BOD. So total BOD present in this raw sewage that is 4.5 million liters per day into 250 milligram per liter. Okay, So now we got the value of 1125 kg okay so next thing is uh, the bod removed in primary clarifier so 25 percentage of bod removed in 20, uh, primary clarifier so 1125 into 25 divided by 100 okay so now we got the value so 281.25 milligram per liter okay so now the bod entering into trickling filter so now 75 percentage of uh, total BOD entering into uh, B trickling filter so 1125 into 75 divided by 100 ok so now we got the value of 843.75 kg ok so this is a BOD entering into the secondary clarifier. So now uh, the BOD allowed into the effluent so is 50 milligram per liter. So BOD allowed in effluent is 50 milligram per liter. So now 4.5 into that is 4.5 milliliters into 50. Okay so now we got the value of 225 kg. Okay so now uh, 225 kg is uh, allowed so now BOD removed per day equal to 843.75 minus 225. Okay. So solving this we got the value of 618.75 kg. So now 618.75 kg removed in the high rate trickling filter. Okay. So now we have to find out the efficiency of the filter. So now the efficiency of filter equal to BOD removal BOD removed divided by total BOD entering. Okay, so now 618.75 divided by total BOD entering is 843.75 into in terms of percentage. So we we have to put the 100 so the total value is 73.3 percentage okay so now the efficiency equation so efficiency equal to 100 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0044 into divided by y divided by v into f okay so now uh, y is total bod applied uh, in the filter per day so now y equal to 843.75 kg so now f equal to recirculation factor so r by a is given 1.4 so f equal to 1 plus r by i divided by 1 plus 0 0.1 into r by i so r by i is 1.4 we can substitute all the values over here so we got the value of f equal to 1.85 okay so now we know the y value then f value so we have to find out the volume okay so now nita is uh, 73.3 equal to 100 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0044 into root of y value is 843.75 divided by v uh, we have to find out and f value is 1.85 okay solving this we got the value so v equal to 665.4 
M cube. Okay, so now using 1.5 meter depth. So now the area. So the volume is 665.4 divided by the depth value is 1.5. So now we got the value area of 413.6 meter square. Okay, so now dia diameter equal to root of 413.6 into 4 divided by 5. So now dia d equal to 23.8 meter. Okay, so this is the diameter of the high rate trickling filter. Okay, so now uh, for equivalent standard rate filter f equal to 1. So now f equal to 1. So again uh, we can find out the uh, volume. So we can uh, put f equal to 1. Okay, so neta is 73.3 again equal to 100 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0044 into root of 843.75 divided by v into 1 ok so standard tickling filter f equal to 1 so now uh, the volume will be so volume equal to 1 2 3 3 meter cube ok so again uh, depth equal to 1.5 so we can so we can find out the dia so dia equal to root of 1 2 3 3 into 4 divided by 5 so now the diameter equal to dia of the tank equal to 32.4 meter okay so this is a method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you